Hi folks, my name is Roger Williams. I own an engine shop here in St. Paul, Indiana by the name of Williams Precision Engines. I've been building racing engines for over 20 years for all kinds of applications. Pulling trucks and street rods and hot rods and drag cars and circle track and you name it. But uh, uh, the good folks at E3 Spark Plugs has asked me to answer a few of your questions. Um, we've started a segment called Ask Roger and each month you guys send in your questions and I pick through them and I pick out what I think is the best question and the uh, winner gets a free set of spark plugs can't hardly beat that with a stick um, this month we got two winners first guy's name is Jacob and Jacob's asked me a question um, and it's becoming a, a, a somewhat popular question and I thought I'd touch on it with this one and uh, not normally do I want to necessarily concentrate on E3 questions but uh, I thought this one needed uh, need some explanation and some uh, some light brought to the subject well Jacob asked the question he says uh, ask Roger a parts store employee was trying to steer me away from E3 spark plugs on modern vehicles because it will alter the engine management sensors hmm. I am a shade tree mechanic and such a phrase doesn't jive with my understanding of engine management feedbacks. Can there ever be harm from using an aftermarket plug like E3 series plugs? I drive a 99 Isuzu Trooper and I know it could benefit from any improvement part that is available. I understand that. I have installed two sets of E3 plugs in my friend's 04 Trailblazers and he has found great performance and increased mileage overnight on both of them. What are your thoughts on the sensors? <clears throat> I believe um, there will never be any harm come to your engine from trying a set of E3 spark plugs. Uh, that being said, I have heard reports that some engines don't uh, respond to the E3 plugs as favorably as others do. We know that the E3 plug makes a more complete burn in the combustion chamber and speeds up the burning process when it occurs. It is my belief that some engine management systems recognize the faster and more complete burning of the fuel as pre-ignition and therefore tries to retard the timing to compensate, thus making the engine not perform as it should and in some cases throw codes. Um, this is rare and not common and if it does, it can be corrected by a professional ECU tuner or in some cases by simply running a higher octane fuel. Poor quality fuel will make an engine spark knock and pre-ignite, forcing the engine management systems to max retard timing and not allowing room for, uh, for the computer to compensate for the E3 plug's faster burning process. Some engines are just more prone to pre-ignite and detonate uh, than others, not leaving any room for the ECU to compensate. Um, the fact that the engine management system must alter uh, and adjust uh, is uh, for the new plug is just definite proof that the E3 plug is more than just a gimmick and actually works. Um, bottom line is, uh, Jacob, get yourself a set and see how they work. Uh, no harm is going to come to your engine from trying them. But if it doesn't respond, well, I mean, at least you can give it a shot. But in most cases, like your friend has found out, uh, they respond very well and make better mileage, better power. You know, what cheaper thing can you do to your engine than to put a set of plugs in it and see if you can increase the performance and mileage? Um, especially since you're getting a free set. Give them a shot. Uh, second question comes from a gentleman by the name of Glenn. Glenn says, uh, we run a junior dragster. He's running 890 on methanol. Um, he said, I've been curious to how the E3 plug would run. Well, Glenn, uh, I personally think you need to give them a shot. I run them uh, in my uh, Dirt Modified for two years, and when and I, I loved them. I had no failures, and they never laid down on me. My, I was really consistent. Um, on the dyno, we've seen better power at the lower RPMs and the higher RPMs, broadening out the power range. That generates into more power, more straightaway speed for you. Um, I think a little junior dragster will really respond good to them personally. I do suggest you get with one of the engineers uh, at E3 and make sure that you're matching up the right heat range for your application. Um, you know, tell him the plug that you're currently running and let him uh, give you a suggestion of which one you ought to be using. Um, give him a shot. Let me know how they work. Also, uh, try the uh, Lucas 
that has a 5W20 Junior Dragster oil specifically designed for it. I believe you'll see some increases in that if you haven't already gone that way. I think a lot of people have. But, uh, folks, uh, get your questions sent in for next month. Um, I like to grow this segment, the Ask Roger segment on the E3's website, and uh, see if we can't uh, get some more free spark plugs coming your way. Hey, get out from behind that computer, get to work on your hot rod, and talk to you next time. Thanks. Mm.